Hi, my name is Absol, and in my spare time, I get electrified, <laughs> electrically, at the electronic circus, the electric circus. You can elect some service. You pride yourself in calling yourself the, you know, the black lip bastard, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want to know, like, when did you start seeing your lips actually start changing? You know due what? to you know what? I want you to clap for her. first person that asked <laughs> asked me this question. And if you think that your lips can get dark, like I would have to smoke, like, <laughs> like my they're dark every it's dark everywhere. You know right. what I'm saying? Like you can't your lips can't get dark like that. It's pink where the blunt go. That's true. Mm. Kendrick's lips get dark. I think it'd be suntan. Mm. Honestly, mm. if if you ask me, but I mean like a lot of you know a lot of you know blunt smokers just agree that you know you know a lot of heavy steamers just might agree that I call it Stephen Johnson syndrome when I was ten years old and. You can do your research on that, but I lost my, all my lip skin, and when it grew back, it grew back dark. So I just call myself the Black Lip Bastard because, you know, ever since then, uh, look at your lips, uh, your lips, uh, you, uh, you smoke. I ain't even start smoking to smoke your weed till after I graduate from high school. And I could that you like? Too, could you like? Honest. Could you just? Could you touch them? Like just like? <laughs> I'm sorry. Just just it's just okay. go, no. Just touch. Just give it a touch. They're so oh my Don't God. use chapstick. I go, I go snowboarding and skiing. My lips don't get chapped. Just my hair in general. Mm -hmm. Just growing up, it's just always just my hair. You know what I mean? I'm I'm still trying to figure it out. You know I understand. Like I guess like you know, but man, like I go like my auntie does my hair sometimes. Like you should like hear like what they like how these like how these ladies think about my hair. Like it's kind of sometimes it, it, it could get sad. Like you know what I'm saying? Even a little, you know, before that, as I was coming up in, in life and growing up around my friends and seeing dudes get into this easy controversy over nothing, it was best to just put all your cards out on the table. Just put them out, just, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. tell the truth about, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, hey man, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't mean no harm, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just how, I, and that's how I got through life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. And, it, it, and people like me for that. I can go, I feel like I can go to any hood in L.A. and I'm good. I, I feel like I got homies in every notorious gang in L.A. And I can go through there cheesing with any colors on and be cool. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Just because I, I walk, I, I put all my cards on the table. The song High Power, that was me speaking through Kendrick. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? I'll just put it to you like that. I didn't write the lyrics. But that was from years and years of me talking that shit that don't nobody want to hear to him. And it finally stuck with him, you know what I'm saying? And he made a, a very profound record, you know, on, on that concept. I mean, I'm not going to say that. I'm not, I'm not going to say that I, you know, I told him to make the song and, you know, or, or nothing like that. Or he, it came from a direct conversation from me, but like... He was he was finally you know touched by you know that shit that you know we you know I you know I be kicking you know what I mean you know so like when we talk about things like that Occupy Wall Street politics science and technology you see so the real thinker you feel what I'm saying this is the stuff that I've always been interested in like you know what I mean and while we were coming up in music like early on in our career. Especially Kendrick, because he, he, you know, he, he, he was recording professionally a little longer than I was, and he was, you know, like he always says, he was really trying to make a hit. He was really trying to make a hit record, like for the, mm -hmm. for the label, so we could get signed, so we can get on. You know what I mean? We're gonna go to the, we're gonna do this shit. You know what I mean? So, we were getting away from ourselves. We were trying to chase what was in, versus really, you know, just saying what we want to say. You know what I mean? So. I would I would like to I would like to think that I, I helped influence that notion. You know what I'm saying? I think like, you know, after I did Lifestyles of the Broken Almost Famous, it kinda of like felt good to know like I from just from the response, I kinda of felt felt like it made people feel good to know that like, well damn, like he got a good like they think this tight and 
the whole time he he didn't he did I, I tried to do everything opposite of what's going on in rap. Mm -hmm. Everybody's talking about taking somebody's girl and yeah. you know because he's broke and look at his car and look at his shoes mm -hmm. and you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I tried to be that guy who was getting cheated on because I'm broke and my whip is raggedy and I tried to play that character. And so like I think I, I think I pulled it off.